Uh, all right, you're gonna have to excuse the minor headache I have right now. I had this idiotic conversation this morning. You know one of those conversations where someone's trying to get you to do stuff for them and to try to convince you to do it? They keep minimizing all the work you'll have to do. Oh, it's nothing. It's, it's like nothing. You can do this in your sleep, right? It's basically nothing. And then you're like, wait a minute. You want me to do a lot of work and then you don't have to appreciate it because it was nothing. Oh, no, you misunderstood. Oh, God. Anyway, I'm up here on my second floor and I've decided it's time to get going on those floorboards. I know the wood is not totally dry. I don't know, maybe it is. I can't see inside the wood, but it's probably not totally dry. However, it's mostly dry. I might have to do some, you know, rearranging in a couple months just to squeeze in the spaces and whatever. But I think I can, I think I want to just do it. Because I, I want to get stuff up here and the second floor is going to be amazing to have and blah, blah, blah. Also, I've built stairs. Check these out. <laughs> just stand up. Now, these are the most complicated stairs I've ever built. <laughs> you may notice they twist. Yeah, that was on purpose. It actually took a lot of measurements. Every, every step had to be measured to twist correctly on the way up. And it twists because I am in a round house. And I thought it would be weird. I mean, I, the other possibility I was thinking about doing was taking a board across here, you know, to make it 90 degrees to the stairs. So the bottom would be 90 degrees and the top would be 90 degrees. But then you'd come up the stairs and you'd be like aiming, you know, you'd be like aiming at the wall. And I didn't think that would be right. So I made the stairs twist. So when you get to the top, you step up, step off the top stairs and you're like, you're already in line with the curve to go around you know, to go around the house. So, I don't know. I guess a lot of people wouldn't care about that. I thought it was important enough to, to do, though. Also, this morning, I took this board up to the planer, to my planer. It's my planer. I love that thing. And, uh, I mean, it, looks, it looked pretty much like this this morning. But I took it up to the lumber mill first and cut it to width for this spot right beside the stairs. And then I planed it, and I've been going around measuring thicknesses of boards to kind of figure out what, what I can plane down to that will be able to work with the large majority of boards. This one here has a thin end over here, so, you know, whatever. But, like, almost all of them can be planed down to this thickness just fine. And this is three and a half centimeters thick. I thought that was a good thickness. I mean, it's, that's plenty thick. It's, it's like almost like a two by four that you get in the store. Almost. I think it's a little thinner than that. But uh, yeah, I think that'll be good. And then I, I, I planned it. So it's nice and flat. Um, I do have to sharpen my planer blades. I don't know if you can see in the camera that well, but it leaves a bit of fur. Not too bad. I mean, it's nothing that you're going to like... It's not leaving like splinters or anything. And I could go over that with sandpaper and get it out. Um, but it's not that bad. But if I, if I sharpen the blades on the planer a little better, it should reduce this. Uh, other than that though, I think I'm just gonna shut up and cut this board to length to fit right here. And that'll be my first floorboard. And then I guess I'll just, well, let me do that one. Then I can figure out what to do. I mean, just keep going, I guess. But. Okay, the angle is easy to get. I just put it so it's resting up against there. Take a ruler right there. And then I just have to measure from here to the other end of the board. Make sure it's equal with this corner to that corner. All right, and then I'll do the angle the same. Yeah, okay, this is a piece of cake. Ah, oh, my brains are still working. Great. Oh, and I'm, I moved the board... I mean, the obvious thing would be to s start right at one end and keep as big a piece of board as I can. However, there's this piece here, which was a little bit too thin to go through the, the lumber mill. And if this was anywhere else, I would just cut off like another half a centimeter or something and flatten that out. 
but this goes right beside the stairs, so there's no board that goes up next to this, so that's fine. I thought it would be a nice little natural feature. Oh, right, and anyway, I don't, I want this, I can't have it over there because it'll be next to a board, and I don't want it to be right at the end. I just, I just want it to be in the middle somewhere, so that's, that's why the board's here. So this is supported there and there. I think the wood is thick enough. Yeah, it's fine. Hey, I had a big enough piece left over for that. All right, now let's get some of these boards up and uh, just keep going. Okay, before I forget, Jamie, your planer cuts a millimeter thinner than it says. So if you wanna cut 35 millimeters, set it to 36. Don't forget. So I'm sliding boards down here to the first floor so I can walk out the front door, around the house, up a hill, up to the lumber mill, which is like uh, right over, let's see, right? It's like right over there. So I think, yeah, I think I just need to pass the boards right out this window. All right, now that is way less stupid. Oh, you know what? I should just have one board that stays here. Come on, grass, get up. Hit that wire. No, don't hit that wire. Okay. There we go, let's leave that board right there. Oh yeah, much better.
Every quarter turn is one millimeter, and this is the this is the setting it needs to be.